When you hold everything in your heart, you become a person filled with hatred, filled with so much of negativity because you're holding too much. You don't need to hold so much. You need to learn to let go of things. It's like when you arrive at the airport and you're told you only allowed one piece, 20 kilos. Have you heard that? Nowadays, they may allow you two pieces, 23 kilos each. If one of them is more than 23, you're, you have a problem. And if both are more than 46, you're going to have to shed some of it. Now, those of you who visited India, perhaps I'm going to give you that example, India and Pakistan, perhaps even Bangladesh. I'll give you the example. Those of you who visited folks, maybe who live in some of those countries, don't you notice that sometimes out of their love, they give you things that you don't know how you're going to take back? Subhanallah. And then you start packing things into your bag and you were promising before the journey that I am going, I'm not going to be a typical traveler where my, my bags are more than my own weight. Subhanallah, you know? I mean, I weigh, I, I don't know, the last time I checked, I think I was somewhere between 75 and 80, I think. And I can tell you something, my bags weigh less than me, always. <laughs> well, you're going to say, are you crazy? 70 kilos of, of weight? Well, we all promise that we're not going to be typical when we watch other people. But guess what happens? You end up picking up things and you bring them to the airport and you say, Inshallah, it will go. And you try to make a plan and you go this way and you stand that way and you smile at the people trying to look at it. And then when they tell you there is a problem, you have to remove five kilos. And then you say, well, maybe I'll take it in my hand. What are you doing? You are making a plan. You have excess baggage. That's what it is. We have excess baggage in our relationships. We have to make a plan, shed something. You have to shed it whether you like it or not. Or you have to take it in your hand luggage. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. You have to release certain things. It's a weight. It's a burden. Just like when you've arrived there and you need to now get rid of 10 kilos, for example, or five, you open your bags and you start thinking, right, these peanuts, we don't need them. We get them back in England. Uh, these pistachios, we get them back in England. I have a policy. Any one of my relatives gives me pistachios, peanuts, etc., things that I can get at my destination, I tell them, listen, I'm giving it away. I'll carry nothing. And when I go there, I'll purchase whatever you've given me, the equivalent of it, and give it. It's cheaper and better for me two ways. One is weight-wise and even monetary-wise. Subhanallah. I gave someone else a gift, and then when I got home, I bought a similar gift and gave it because you could get it there. I remember one brother who told me, and it's a true story, he had visited India. And when he returned, the journey back, he was told you need to shed so many kilos, and there was no relative of his at the airport to give it back to. It was quite a bit. Opened his bags, what did he see? Literally, peanuts, pistachios, everything else. And he told, he told himself, now I'm going to take all this out and give it away to some cleaners. But you know what? Let me just pay for it. Just pay for the overweight and go. So he told him, what will it cost? Here's my card. Now, sometimes a card, you know, you're not carrying the cash, so you don't realize how much is gone, you know. So what happened? He took his bags. He paid for it a large amount of money, large sum of money. And he regretted it because when he saw the SMS on his phone, he, he thought to himself, oh, I can't believe it. I paid for the peanuts and the pistachios and all these other little nuts and so on. And it's so much of money. I could have bought that 10 times. And the worst was when he got to England, all his little kids and grandkids and everybody else, they had these sweets and peanuts all around everywhere on the floor. He gathered all of them and said, listen, guys, you've got to eat every single peanut because you don't know what it costed. And I'm thinking to myself, brother, you should have just shed it, given it away, leave it somewhere. It would have helped you, you'd have saved money, you would have you had a better journey, you wouldn't have had worries. And when you see people actually wasted, you would not be feeling like so let down, so to speak, because of the value of what you purchased or what you paid for. The same applies in our relationships. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, I have learned from it myself. If you want to lead a positive life, you need to be prepared to let go of petties. Let go. Don't hold it against the people. We all have weaknesses, myself included. We have weaknesses. Some of them are not so, you know, small. Some of them are big weaknesses. So as much as you can, let go. Let it go. It will help you. 